The crazy part about this is S&P is the lone credit agency with the balls to downgrade uh, U.S. Treasuries. And what does everybody do? Attacks S&P. Oh, these guys don't know what they're doing. They've got no credibility anyway. Look, they missed the subprime. Take a look at Moody's and, and, and Fitch. They still have us as AAA. Well, wait a minute. Moody's and Fitch, they missed subprime too. So why do they have credibility when S&P doesn't? The fact is S&P is learning from its mistakes. They should be credited. Uh, Moody's and Fitch, they haven't learned anything from their mistakes. And, you know, the administration is accusing um, uh, S&P of doing bad math. They're the ones that did bad math. I mean, S&P actually used the baseline assumptions by the CBO. Those assumptions are absurd because they're based on economic growth and inflation and interest rate expectations over the next 10 years that are pure fantasy. They're never going to come true. In fact, the real uh, fiscal picture for the United States is far blacker than what S&P is painting it. They still got us as a double A plus. That's crazy. You know what's even crazier? China is a double A minus. How can China be rated lower than us? We owe them $2 trillion. China basically has no debt. In fact, the only way China would default would be if we defaulted first. Because they got $2 trillion uh, in reserve, three tr- and $3 trillion if you count all their foreign currency reserves. Now, maybe they think, well, you can't trust China because they're commies. Well, can you trust us? I mean, when it comes, we just, we just threatened default a week ago. We just said if we didn't raise the debt ceiling, we were going to default. I mean, China never threatened default. The whole thing is absurd that the world's biggest creditor would have a lower credit rating than the world's biggest debtor. And, of course, the absurdity really kicks into another gear when you have all the big guns that are being brought out. Warren Buffett, Alan Greenspan, hitting the airwaves, hammering S&P, and talking about how great the U.S. Treasuries are. Warren Buffett actually said that he thinks Treasuries should be quadruple A. Now, Warren Buffett also missed the uh, the financial crisis, so why does he have credibility? In fact, his insurance companies probably would have gone bankrupt without the bailouts of the financial sector. But, of course, he also has a dog in the hunt. Uh, Warren Buffett is a major shareholder of Moody's. So, you know, basically, if S&P is right, Moody's is wrong. So Warren Buffett is defending his own company by criticizing S&P. And look at Alan Greenspan. And Alan Greenspan's comments are pretty much uh, being repeated by a lot of so-called experts. Listen to why Alan Greenspan says that we've got nothing to worry about, that S&P was wrong in downgrading our debt. This is uh, cut number three. Are U.S. Treasury bonds still safe to invest in? Very much so. I think there's a... This is not an issue of credit rating. The United States can pay any debt it has because we can always print money to do that. So there is zero probability of default. What I think the S&P thing did was to hit a nerve that there's something basically bad going on. And it's hit the self-esteem of the United States, the psyche. And it's having a much profounder effect than I conceived could happen. So in other words, according to the illustrious maestro, there's nothing to worry about. U.S. government should still be AAA because they can print money. Well, so can every country. I mean, every country is has a printing press. You know, I saw that again at CNBC. Joe Kernan, uh, one of the anchors, basically said that S&P uh, has no business downgrading treasuries because, uh, you know, we can print money. And what they're really downgrading is the dollar, which is true. And he says they have no business looking at the currency. Of course they do. That's all they should look at is the currency. I mean, after all, if simply having a printing press means that you're AAA, why do we even have rating agencies? Why don't we just, all we need is somebody to make a phone call to call up a country and make sure they have a printing press. And if they say, yeah, we got a printing press, I guess we can ask, well, is it working? Do you got plenty of paper? You got enough ink? Okay, you're AAA. I mean, this whole thing is absurd. By Alan Greenspan's definition, or Joe Curtin's definition, or Warren Buffett's definition, every African country should be AAA. Every country in Latin America should be AAA. Hey, Zimbabwe should be AAA. They're not defaulting. They're paying what they owe in Zimbabwe dollars. This whole thing is absurd. When you are rating sovereign debt, of course you are rating the dollar. And of course, what is happening to the dollar today as a result of the S&P downgrade is rising.